TV series would you love to guest star on? Oh, wow. Um, right now, I don't know if this is like a basic answer, Succession. I really, over the quarantine, I got very into Succession. Um, and I think it's so good. And it, like, I just, I'm everything about it. I'm obsessed with it. So I would love to be on Succession. I've heard that answer from basically everyone I talk to. <laughs> I'm joking, but it's, it's a lot of evil. Everyone loves that show, including yeah. myself. Yeah. Uh, I was a huge fan of Legion. Uh, I loved that show. How how many how often do you miss playing Carrie? I, I miss it all the time, to be honest. I I talk about her often. I think that whole experience, that character, first of all, was so fun. Um, and I've learned about myself that with my work, I get very I'm very influenced, like personally, by my characters. I think she was one that at a time came to me and um, gave me a lot of things that hopefully I still carry. <laughs> um, but, and also just the experience of like being on Legion and like working with Noah and working with everybody who was there and Dan and Bill Irwin. Oh my God, I miss Bill Irwin so much. <laughs> it was lovely. The thing about that show for people that have never seen it is it's a, it's a short run with a great finale. And it's one of those complete series. Um, so I'm, I mean, can, what, what are your thoughts on the way the series ended? I thought it was great. I love, I loved it. I'm really happy to know that people feel that way because the whole experience of the show, like what was so fun about it was the ability that like when we would go to comic cons or when we would interact with fans or when I would do press, I would always hear, you know, we were, I was gifted with talking to people who care about the show. Um, and it was the kind of show that creates interaction between like experiencer and creator so it's not just like you're watching a show i would say you're experiencing the story um so it was cool to be able to like talk to people who had theories and and ideas and wanted to see things happen or didn't want to see things happen um but as far as the way the show ended i feel like i was really i was really happy i mean i was really you know i was looking at the carrie story and i felt like it was so sweet and that scene actually with bill and i was the last uh, scene of the whole show. So it was like, it, I remember just like sitting on the floor and looking at him and we had that moment and we touched hands and like, I just, every take Noah, it, like there was this weird suspended reality where like, it, it was like, is this the very last moment that I'm going to be doing this? And then he would say, go again. And I was like, oh, oh God. And then we would, and then finally it was the last one. I just remember crying and thinking it was like, so the experience of it was so lovely. And then watching it, I was really happy with it. Yeah. Jumping into why I get to talk to you today. Um, what was it about the script and the story that said, oh my God, I want to do this. It was so, well, first of all, my oldest brother is a real life ice road trucker. So that. Yeah. To me, yeah. So that was like super cool to be able for me to like pick up his trade for a second. I thought that was super, super fun. Um, and also it just like to me, the character of, of Tantu is so strong and um, being able to be a young woman in this group of like big, tough men who are on this mission to save people. Like it was cool for me to see a native woman be the savior amongst men as well so it was the care and also I, I like i love jonathan hensley's writing and liam was there and lawrence fishburne was there and it was just so many it was so many cool things i'm a big fan of liam neeson and the thing about liam that has been proven over the last 10 20 years is that people love to watch him punch people in the face so i'm just curious what is it about liam that people love watching him be a badass you know what's funny is that he's so kind like he's a very tough guy, but he's so, so nice that like, I cannot, I'm not gonna say I can't picture him punching people in the face, but I can't say that I would love to see it now that I've gotten to spend time with him. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean? Ever since Take It, people are yeah. all in, you know? I mean, he just really embodies that. Maybe that's why it's his kindness, right? Like, I think we all want like justness. And I feel like he's such a great embodiment of what is of like the human idea of like what is just like he's like big and strong but also like kind and tender and you're like yeah that like be that do that before i run out of time with you and i have other ice road questions but i wanted to ask you um what are your thoughts on dan trachtenberg what are my thoughts on dan trachtenberg <laughs> yeah <laughs> um, are you a fan of his work for example 
Uh, yes. Yeah, I saw 10 Cloverfield Lane and I loved it. Right. Uh, perhaps have you have you guys been talking about any sort of movie together? I see where you're going. <laughs> um, thank you very much for that question. I'm very flattered by it. But I, I'm here to talk about the ice room. Got it. Do you think you'll be able to talk about my question soon? I would love to be able to talk about all kinds of things soon. <laughs> Great. Got it. Uh, well, I hope that works out because that sounds awesome. If I was talking about something predator related, jumping back, to, <laughs> jumping, jumping back to Ice Road. Um, you, you mentioned your brother actually is an Ice Road uh, driver. How much did you actually know about what the movie was going to be? You know what I mean about the Ice Road. How much did your brother tell you? What were you surprised to know or learn? Um, I knew, I mean, quite a bit. I knew his experience, but I think to to step out and really actually learn about the the trade as a whole I learned a lot especially about how dangerous it is like I think he's a he's a little bit older than me so I think I was so young when he was uh ice road trucking specifically that I'm glad he I was so young because I don't think I feel like we would have gotten into a fight about it because once I learned how dangerous it was I was like hold on <laughs> you did this um but it was very cool he was like I was like texting him photos I would like take pictures of the trucks I would ask him questions like every day he was hearing from me which I'm sure was annoying <laughs> Well, the other thing about the job is that with global warming, it's obviously much, uh, much harder to do, which with a much shorter window that that road is open. Yeah, that's very true. And also there, it's funny to talk to truckers about also like emissions and trucks and the way that they're changing things and actually the, the solutions there, but yeah, the whole, the just concept of actually being on the ice, um, gives it so much less time of the year. He was driving a little bit. He was driving, I think, a while, a while ago. Not that global warming has not been an issue for a long time. Um, but, you know, it feels like it's rapidly changing. Yeah, it does feel, and I got to go, but it does feel like each year it's gotten progressively a lot worse. Yes, definitely. You know? Save the planet. Uh, yeah, uh, completely. Listen, uh, uh, great work in this. Uh, good luck with uh, any sort of alien movie if you happen to be doing it. Thank you for your time. Thank you so much.